Welcome back everyone, part two of Dustin Elysian Tail walkthrough, and as you see, I just leveled up. So uh, let's just put one stat to that, and yeah, I got more health now. Now, uh, these, the game's gonna start getting pretty uh, more story driven now, because now that the introduction is done, I'm gonna start learning about what the hell's going on. Slash these mofos in the face. Another added thing about this game that I really like is that the fact that you can go from night to day if you wait in one place too long. Like, if you remember part one, this whole area was dark and raining, and now it's all bright and sunny. It's pretty nice. It's an added detail. I always like those kind of things in these kind of games, you know, just make it more immersive. And immersive games, so good. And I'm surprised this one didn't really get much recognition. It got Journey got more recognition. Same with The Walking Dead. I mean, I know the show's popular, but the game I heard wasn't so so great. But it won Game of the Year. Like, how are you gonna do that? Like, not even put Halo in any nominees. That was bullcrap. And then when they had Game of the Decade, I was fine with the winner it being Half Life 2. But Halo 3 wasn't even a nominee. That game defined a decade. That was awesome. I mean, I'm sure you guys don't really agree, and you're all like, Walking Dead's way better, but whatever. This is just my opinion, so you all can just screw off my there. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Silly me, I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. There's going to be a boss fight right before the village, just so you guys know. So uh, before you go there, there might be a shop right before it, and you want to buy stock up on some health potions. Those will help you a lot. Uh, when you die in this game, you go back to the, uh, I think, the last save point you hit, so you might want to be careful. Dying in this game isn't as bad as it is in Skyrim, though. That game's really harsh on dying. So... I really wish I had Skyrim. I miss that game. It's fun. I mean, come on, who doesn't love killing dragons, let alone looking at them? Dragons are awesome. Ooh, new ability. Aerial dust. Yeah! Now we do shit. And look at now it's becoming dark and raining. Like I said, just the little things keep you going. Okay, we're almost at the village.
Now to do the uh, air dust storm, you just need to jump and hold Y. You can move in any direction you want. The more enemies, the longer or the direction it takes you in before you start flying. Don't hold it for too long, you'll take some damage. That's why I was turning red right there. Okay, I guess we're not almost there. Gotta go through another cave. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. There's a shop. That's what they look like. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? It's got glowing evil eyes of evil! A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. I've been expecting you. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? So yeah, stock up on, I guess, cupcakes. Uh, we have enough to get one. Lucky me. Uh, before you leave, that would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find them? I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land is. Running low on time. I'm not I sure we'll even make it to the boss. From around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. He'll buy them at the high price. I... Well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. That's my favorite line from him. Yeah. Watch your back, my friend. <laughs> now with these fruits, you gotta carry them using the dust storm. Then you can break walls that gr are glowing yellow like that. Okay, how much time do we have? Okay, we got two minutes. Let's do this. You can also use the dust storm to uh, collect nearby items and support you. you get to that late to pick them up. Come on, we gotta go through this. Problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Ugh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. Shit, I just can't get left. a good enough grip. I guess we might have to run this video uh, a little longer. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. <laughs> Oh, not these fuckers. Don't go above these guys, they'll attack you instantly. Key to fighting them, just don't let them attack you and stay on its side. They dropped a good amount of money, too. Oh, hi, Bambies. And red Bambies. 
Oh. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful See? foe ahead of you. Here comes the boss. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Really? Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold X at the moment of the enemy's strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Temporarily? He's been now, dazed for this whole cutscene. Put this beast out of its misery. Alright. Come on, we gotta beat this boss. I see Damn somebody it. over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet! But, uh... I would appreciate that. Thanks. All right. I guess the next episode will be on the boss. All right. All right, guys. That was part two of the Dust Elysian Tale walkthrough. Uh, this has been RT Online. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you like this, so you can get more updates on this video on these videos. Peace out.